I hope my screen is visible. Yeah. So good afternoon, everyone, once again, and welcome to the Digital Construction Webinar Series by Kiprecord Technologies. This is a series of a webinar of, uh, around digital construction. This is the second session of the series. In the previous session, we covered the introduction to Autodesk Construction Cloud. And in today's discussion, we will be talking about Autodesk Construction Cloud around project management. So today's agenda would be to uh, start with the introduction. Then we will talk about the basic industry requirements and what is industry, uh, ACC and how can we solve those challenges with ACC. We will then uh, move to the basic overview of Autodesk Construction Cloud. That is, what is the platform? How are we working on it? And what all tools are present within that solution? And after that, we will deep dive into the project management aspects of the cloud based platform over here. Towards the end of the session, we will take the question and answers. And for that, during the session, any point in time, you can put in the questions in the Q&A box. We will take up those questions towards the end. And before starting the session, there are few uh, two questions that we would like to ask as audience polls. So first is your professional background so that we understand uh, what is your professional background and what is the mix of people present here today in the webinar so that we can derive our communication in that direction. So I hope my uh, audience poll is visible on the screen. Kindly take 10, 15 seconds to uh, complete the poll. We'll take five more seconds. Okay. So mostly uh, we have architects, construction managers and engineers and few students. So that means there's a mixed bunch of all the uh, core stakeholder team present today, which will help us in an uh, driving the webinar today in the workflow for all the stakeholders involved in a project. And I will go with the second poll also. That is your current organization. What type of organization you're a part of? Is it a design, design consultant, a contractor, owner, project management consultant, or maybe other? We we'll may wait for a few more seconds. Okay. So most of us here are from design consultancies and contractor firms, and very few are from uh, owners. None of us are from the PMC background. So this means the uh, pro the concept of us discussing the project management of ACC, we will involve all the stakeholders, let's say the architects and the contractors for you to understand the workflow that we will be discussing today. Before that, we would uh, discuss about uh, Cape Record. And for that, I would like to welcome Mr. Shitan Jain. Sir, uh, over to you. Thank you, Pallavi. Uh... First of all, a very good afternoon to everyone, to all the practitioners of the construction industry. Uh, I see most of us are from either design or construction background. Uh, so I am myself a civil engineer practicing construction management, digital construction management for last 10 years. Uh, so I'm based out of Delhi. We are uh, part of digital construction team here in Capricot, helping owners, contractors, and design consultants like yourself move more towards digital uh, technologies and uh, platforms to help in your everyday work. So just to give a glimpse about who we are as Capricot and some exciting new news which we have for everyone. So as Capricot, we are India's leading design and construction management technology solution provider for AC industry. Uh, we have been providing services and technologies for last more than 30 years. 
having 20,000 plus Indian Indian customers in the AC domain, and uh, which we are supported our, by our 250 plus tech team. Uh, and we are uh, heavily focused around BIM and cloud technologies for the construction industry, design industry projects, large infrastructure projects, be it government or private. Our aim is overall, how do we as uh, Capricorn understand your pain points, your challenges, your uh, you, the, 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 the state you want to reach uh, in terms of digitization and uh, uh, help you in your journey towards digitization and go towards like, this is a mix of technology, softwares, services, implementation, manpower, etc. So we provide end to end 360 degree services and support to you wherever in the country you are based out. So to, nowadays, uh, geography is not a, a limitation. So wherever you are based out in India, we are here, there to support you. Follow me next slide, please. <clears throat> so, uh, from the customer, so from the customer standpoint, uh, we are supporting any and all kinds of AC uh, industry customers, be it uh, private, small, large, or government. From uh, again, from different segments of or metro, airports, mass transit, residential. And then your design consultants, design consultants like Aisha, Sister, Acom, etc. So we have a varied uh, experience in uh, customer pain points, sol solving them, uh, understanding those issues. We have a team of engineers and architects who know how to correlate the the, the session practices or design practices with the technology and to improve those processes. Now, one exciting news which I have and I want to share with everyone. So, and you were just seeing it on logo everywhere that we as Capricorn is a win zero company now. So this has happened in first week of April. We are now part of a global group of companies uh, known as win zero. With this, uh, the next slide please. We are present across the globe. So we have now physical presence in more than 50 cities across the world, having more than 500 people. Uh, present across US, U, uh, UK, Australia, and India. So the uh, objective here is also that how do we bring about better technologies or better processes or standardizations which are available in more mature markets to the Indian customers and help them achieve your goals. So uh, now we will go more into detail about how uh, the Autodesk Construction Cloud can help you in digital project management. You might have heard about earlier a tool called BIM 360 Build or BIM 360 or Autodesk Build or something like that. Uh, so now they have unified this platform into one single uh, name, which is Autodesk Construction Cloud. The data source, the, uh, the, the information which has to be used by multiple stakeholders across a project lifecycle, which is starting from your design, planning, construction, and then ONM is part of the same platform. So on the screen, you will see that you will see three major uh, solutions which are there. One is BIM Collaborate, which is focused primarily around uh, the design consultants or the designers or anyone who's working on Revit or authoring tools. Then second is Autodesk Takeoff, which is more for uh, oriented more towards quantity estimation. And the best part is because this is cloud-based. So you don't need any authoring tool in place like CAD or Revit or any other tool to uh, to, uh, to extract quantities from those models is uh, you just need takeoff and you can start doing that. And third is build, which we are going to discuss specifically around project management today. So build is a construction uh, professional or an owner specific tool, which is more oriented towards the construction phase of the project, allowing you to share the same set of information, drawings, model in whatever form it is with all the stakeholders start starting from the designers, to the site engineers, to the foremen, to the management, etc. So uh, today, before proceeding to a specific topic of project management, uh, something interesting which I wanted to showcase to the uh, audience today. So I'll be sharing my screen. So this has actually been, uh, this was in place earlier also, but it has been advanced further by uh, Autodesk recently. So I hope my uh, slide is uh, screen is visible, Pallavi. Perfect. <clears throat> so uh, now what we have 
uh, within Autodesk Concession Cloud as a platform are pre-built dashboards. So that means, so for example, if you see on screen as Capricorn, I have 100 and 100 plus projects. I'm able to, in a single screen, able to see the health and status of all my projects together. So for that matter, for example, uh, I can track So I can track risk and I can also track cost of all my projects on one single screen. What was the initial budget? What was the projected cost? What is the final forecast variance, which is coming in my projects. So using one single dashboard, I have access to this for my entire management. So I don't have to worry about uh, having some external tools in place to have these management dashboards in place. These can in fact be also scheduled to be uh, mailed or exported out to the concerned people, uh, either daily, weekly, or monthly kind of dashboards. And these are not only uh, restricted to uh, cost, I can also have it linked to my design issues which are coming in the project. So as a concession project manager, uh, I need, uh, uh, so, so for example, I need transparency on my project as to where the issues are coming from. Where do I need to focus my time and effort on? I can do that using this dashboards. These dashboards are further, uh, you can say, uh, are further assisted by uh, uh, configurable uh, cards, which are pre-built into uh, Autodesk Confession Cloud. So there are a lot of uh, uh, this information of pre-built -pre cards, which are existing in the platform. But of course, we might be using any third-party tools, so which all can also be integrated with this platform and used further for the data management. So this, apart from losing having a, uh, uh, the data at the entire organization, I can also then take a talk about a particular project. So I can restrict the access I have for a project manager or the management of the company. So here I can have more drill down information for my projects. Like for example, as you see a sample on the board, which has RFIs, submittals, issues, and these are specific to one, but one particular project. And then I can also see design issues which are there in my project. What are my submittals, RFIs, open RFIs, how long they have been pending, which are issued, which are closed, et cetera, all, all this I can track. So these are some of the things which are possible within ACC on the platform. But now a new thing which has come here is that I can extract all this data to Power BI. Now, because I'm able to extract this highly attribu attributed data to Power BI, I have a lot of flexibilities around that. So I'm sharing some uh, example dashboards. So for example, uh, this is a design issued uh, dashboard, which is there, uh, which, uh, which has been built by the data which is exported from Autodesk Confection Cloud. And in this, I have, I have the ability to drill down all the, issue, all the data and publish it to my management as in how, how I require it. So this, this is not only restricted to design, I can do RFIs, I can do quality issues and safety issues. All those uh, dashboards can be configured. Then even to an extent, uh, because all this data is already there in form of database in Autodesk Confession Cloud. It's more about how I'm able to extract and use it. So I can able, I'm able to even track how many reviews have happened on which project, who has, which person has uh, started those reviews. What was the timeline of those reviews? All those reviews closed or not? So a lot of these things in form of data can be published as dashboards uh, through Power BI. And this dashboard, of course, can again be brought back into uh, as a card back into, uh, into uh, Autodesk Concession Cloud. So you have one place to publish all the data. So again, so there's a lot of the, the templates which we are showing right now are shared by Autodesk team. So these are something which uh, can be which are highly configured and we are able to configure it as per your requirements. Uh, what or what information you need, what are, what are the data points you need to see for your customers or for your, for your clients or, or your, uh, for, your, uh, for your projects, we are able to show that to you. So these are very interesting, highly configurable dashboards, each of them dynamic. That means uh, these are just not flat. I can click on each and every object and all the other filters automatically can get filtered as per that. So with this, uh, I would like to hand it back over to Pallavi. Uh, she will be taking us through the project management features which are available in Autodesk Construction Cloud and how they can help you in digitizing your processes 
and uh, workflows on a very simple to use yet standardized uh, platform. Pallavi, over to you. Yeah, thank you, sir. So uh, I'll again share my screen. Yeah. So I hope my screen is visible again. Yes. Thank you. So as sir mentioned, so we will talk about the project management features within the Autodesk construction pl cloud platform. In over here, as we can see the highlighted uh, area is where we will talk about RFIs, which is request for information, submittals, meeting minutes, daily reports, our schedules. So all these terms which we just used, these are all related to the management of the project, which involves the uh, movement of a lot of information through multiple stakeholders within the same time frame. Let's say it has to go from site to head office to up to design consultants and multiple consultants, maybe through vendors. So these kind of cross communication upstream, downstream, these takes a lot of efforts. And then what we can do is with the help of Autodesk Construction Cloud, we can manage all these set of informations. In the previous session uh, of this webinar series, we discussed about document management. That is how we are able to create a document control system that is creating organizational folder structure. How are we creating those folders, managing those folders? Uh, restricting people or defining people's permission within those folders so that the information they get is limited and it's not and it is still sharing at the same time this transparency is maintained at the same time we also saw the very important thing that is document versioning how are we controlling and viewing multiple not even multiple i would say hundreds of revisions on a single platform with the click of a button how we are able to come compared to the CDs on the platform and we do not need authoring tools such as Revit for that. Also, we uh, saw how do document approvals can be created, that is approval workflows can be created, where we eliminate the challenges of geographic locations, owners present or there at site in time or not, they're getting responses in time or, or, or not. So we created a time bound approval workflow, status based approval workflows, where we managed all our information within the cloud based solution. Today, as we discussed, we will be talking more about project management tools within build, how stakeholders will be able to raise RFIs and from or maybe issues and from that issues we would raise RFIs, we can connect those to our project budgets, how can we share specifications from vendors or maybe from uh, the purchase department can share them to design team or the owners through submittals, how can we track all our meetings and all our discussions within those meetings with the help of meeting minutes and how are we able to upload our schedules from uh, the planning department and then track those activities at site and tracking our daily reports. So to start with, or let's say to deep dive into each of the uh, tools of project management in ACC, we would start with RFIs. So RFI is request for information, which is used during the project, throughout the project life cycle for gathering or asking questions from team. Mostly that happens from site and it goes to either to the owner or to the design consultants through project managers or if there are specific managers associated with it. So we can streamline that workflow, we can create RFI workflows and then we can connect multiple references to the files or let's say those requests for information might lead to a scope creep or a design that is your design change or maybe some change which would impact your cost. So from there we can create potential change orders also which is again a term which is used in ACC. And then we can have a combined logbook where we can see all the recorded RSIs. So here we can see that we can before starting with uh, RFIs or before creating RFIs, what we need to do is we need to set up the organization or we have to set up the workflow or standardize the workflow at an organization level or at a project level where the team where the team member knows that what information or what will be the flow of information from which person the information will start or who, who all can read RFIs and who will be the managers for that and who all will be the responsible reviewers for that specific query because uh, we need to a concise the level of uh, information that all the people are getting or maybe we have to control that uh, 
ability for everyone to work on that particular tool or not. So we will be able to do that with the help of standardizing workflows. Also, we can create options where the transparency is maintained. Let's say you don't want everybody to know about the discussions that are happening internally, though it is a tool where we maintain transparency. Still, there are some information which are confidential. So we can create those kind of settings within the platform. So once we have done with the initial settings, when the organization has standardized the process with which the project will flow and all the stakeholders will uh, respond within that set of uh, workflows, we will then start creating the RFIs. And these RFIs are status based. So it is either in status or in review process, either close, so that we can track the log and we can filter those activities with different names and who will be the responsible manager and let's say we want to keep people in cc because all these tools which are there they're directly linked to your email ids so any information that we generate and market to a specific person emails are automatically sent to those people so over here let's say we put a question that when will the flooring be done or when will the shop drawing be shared and we suggest a answer to that also and then we mark it according to the priorities let's say that activity is due on the site within coming 10 days and we want the shop drawings within two three days so it's a high priority activity for which we need results in time that we can maintain through rfi logs in the first place from there, once we have created RFIs, we can see that there are different statuses to it, there are titles to it, who is responsible for the RFI, what is the due date by which they have to respond to it, or maybe they have skipped the timeline and it shows in red, what all documents are attached to it, what is the priority, so that the filtering and the working becomes easy. And then we can start with the review. So once we start with the reviewing, we know which RFI to respond to either through emails or again through platform again. And then we will read the entire uh, process or entire RFI and then respond to it. Maybe let's say answered or let's change it to the other person or transfer it to the next person that we can do here in the uh, RFI response review and responses option. And we can suggest answer. We can add more documents to it or we can share it back to the o creator of RFI to give more details to it or add more information to it. And once the RFI is being answered or reviewed or the information which is there is now closed, can then be shared with everyone or each member within the platform or within the project so that they can view that information that this change has happened in the project. If there are no changes, then it is okay, but mostly RFIs would lead to some sort of basic changes as well. Then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, RFIs mostly, if they are changing some sort of design or maybe material or anything specific at site, might lead to a cost impact also. They might change the budget, they might increase the budget, or sometimes not the but they would not increase, but some sort of management is required within the budget. So, in that case, we can create from RFIs potential change orders, and it is linked to the cost management tool of ACC build, which we will see in the coming uh, webinar series of this particular webinar. And then from that potential change orders, we can again create a budget change if there is any or we can close that budget change if it doesn't lead to that kind of budget change because changes might lead to a lot of vendor quotations on those activities which we can control through the platform. After RFIs, we'll go to submittals. Submittals, again, they are the single document library. Why? Because all your shop drawings, all your specifications, all your documentation, all your maybe material texture or information related to any specific material element in the project would go through a process which we call as submitters. That means from site, either the vendor or the general contractor would share the, the set of information to the designer and the owner via project manager through these stakeholders and would require certain set of approvals, communication, a lot of updates in the shop drawings. So all those can be done with the help of submittals workbook. Or again, similar to RFIs, we will have to create a standardized workflow for uh, submittals as well. 
in which we will standardize that who will all be the responsible people, who all can be the managers, who will work with us, and what all information will they require. Uh, we will see that not everybody should be able to create the submittals or respond, give a response to it. And also we can standardize the responses within the platform, like who, what all will be the standard responses that will be, we will be able to read and we will be justifying that this is the right answer and or right answer or maybe the language of your project so that people understand the answers better. And then we can start creating our submittals. So once again, the standardization of the workflow is being done and the organization first level of uh, workflow has been created. We then go to the uh, creation of specification section and items. So these, these are again uh, tool based terms, which means now, for example, you need specifications or material details or shop drawings for all the elements in the project. These can be HVAC, these can be your fenestration, they can be your plumbing. So those are your, all your specification sections. These are multiple sections under which each element would act as an item. So let's say within a HVAC uh, spec section, there is multiple AHUs which works as items for which your details are shared or your brochures are shared multiple companies, their offers are shared. So you check the specifications of those AHUs, your budget is checked. So you track those information with the help of this process. And then again, you give all sorts of information which is required in terms of, let's say, what reference document is needed or it, is it a high priority type or any more specification is required to know because these things are all time bound activities. You can also justify if it is priority or maybe the planning schedule. So all your activities which are due, you can mention those dates also for so that the answer becomes easy or the answer comes in more uh, coordinated time format. So now let's say in the project there are hundreds of uh, so you would say that there can be hundreds of items for same specific section. So how will we manage those or how will we track those or group those pack, uh, items together? So that again can be done over here. We can package or let's say within HVAC only, only there are hundreds of items, your duct work, your AHUs, your chiller plants, or shop drawings and details and working drawings. So those all can be packaged together under one package so that the reviewer who will be reviewing all the details, let's say the MEP consultant, would have all the information under one package and it is it becomes easier for him to review. So Autodesk Construction Cloud over here helps you with the process of even packaging those elements together and then giving a response to it. So let's say the MEP consultant then will be able to manage that information and work according to the priority. So he can, he or she can, let's say, filter the information according to priority and start responding to the information provided by the contractors, mostly or let's say vendors. And now after once the information is shared and we have received that in the form of packages, we can then start giving the formal responses. So let's say over here, you are submitting that response, uh, submittal to the manager, you are adding a note because this note would act as an email to the person you're sending. They will receive an automated email and you can attach multiple documents. You can attach more documents to it, maybe any drawing that's updated further. All those can be updated and as a response, it can be shared further and then review and close options are there to close the submittals. There is another option within Autodesk Construction Cloud build, which is your project management schedules. So similar to what we saw in our document management, where we used to add all our drawing files or PDFs or Excel, over here we can add our schedules also, our planned schedules, which from our authoring tool, let's say MSP, P6 or Astra projects. Those are over here readable. And once we upload those schedules here on the platform, these activities, which you can see are now smart activities, the digital activities. These activities in the can charts, you can see all the information and you can mark information in these activities. Let's say you can attach RFI, attach RFI submittals or maybe documents which are required to be taken up. You can add comments to that particular activity. Let's say it is 
the activity is coming in another month and you want to notify that these are the changes that might happen at site and you can communicate that information through schedules only so that the planners at site can get all the information in time and they can respond to it and or change the uh, planning or modify their planning according to the site conditions maybe in the coming updates since uh, since this is a cloud based solution where you are managing your information you are reviewing your information so similar to your document management you will not be able to make any changes within the uh, schedule that you have uploaded but when we are at site or when we are reviewing the site, uh, activities the real time from the site we see that there can be chances of delay there those delays might be even lead to cost impacts so you need to notify to your planners or your team members about that information so within the platform of uh, acc this schedule tool it gives you the option of suggestions so once you have suggested that this particular activity let's say excavation of phase 2 would get delayed by a week or so with this much cost impact which you might estimate you can suggest that change in the platform and notify it to the managers again so the project managers would review it would let's say uh, work on it or maybe if they are okay with the time frame they will update it and approve those changes so those changes can act over here as suggestions and changes will happen again from your authoring tool and get uploaded here as an update of your schedule so there is a baseline and then there are constant updates of your schedules we can even link the schedules to our uh, first items which we'll see again in the coming sessions so now is the project management issues for which I would like to hand it over to my uh, team members with the uh, with you over to you. Am I audible? Yes. Screen is visible. Yes, your screen is visible. talk about issues so issues uh, is a tool which allow you to track work uh, across the construction life cycle We are just sharing the screen back. Give us a minute. Okay, let's start with issues. So issues is a tool which, which, where, with which you can track work across the construction life cycle. So this tool helps you to identify problems and prevents delays and reworks in your project. So you can link references, photos, and RFIs, and more to your issues there. So uh, the, this tool provides you with the pre-compiled categories, which we can use to categorize our issues. So once the issues are configured, then you can just create issues directly, even from your fields. You can even assign issues to any member or, or a role or a company. And even you can add due date with uh, the particular issues and ask them to resolve the issue by that due date. So all the issues in your project can be tracked at a single log. Uh, which can also be exported in a form of PDF or Excel. Next slide. So coming to the meeting minutes. So uh, there must be large number of meetings which you handle daily and it becomes very difficult to coordinate and track minutes for each of them. So using this tool, you can improve your coordination and uh, project tracking with the centralized uh, 
construction minutes. So uh, you can manage your meetings effortlessly, uh, make your meetings more productive with the clear visibility into the commitments made. And uh, you can just link uh, essential references in the form of potential change orders, RFIs, et cetera, to your meetings. And this will help you to organize the history of your minutes. So next slide. So we can create meetings uh, in this platform only. We can add the details to meetings like the title and uh, time, date, and location. And even uh, for the meetings which are created online, we can add Zoom or Teams link here in this platform only. So uh, next slide. So this allows you to even uh, write the description for the meeting so that your uh, attendees can know what agendas which will be discussed over in the meeting and it makes the decisions more actionable and accountable so you can just capture all the uh, items which are discussed in the meetings like uh, here you can see room flooring is the topic and the uh, different items like living room and uh, bedroom can be the items which are discussed in the meetings you can just attach the roles and uh, uh, the individual or roles or companies uh, you can assign to each individual items. This way you can make your uh, items more actionable and accountable. So they can uh, just know what they have to look into after the meetings. So also you can assign references in the form of RFI issues or potential change orders to each individual items. And uh, with the due date, the assignee can resolve the items. Uh, next slide. So uh, you can even add references to the whole meetings in the form of files or sheets. So uh, uh, the individuals know where, uh, which meeting uh, meeting is uh, about which file or sheets. So you can add invitees. Even non-members who are not using the platform can be added as an invitee into the meeting. Uh, they will be getting the invites through email notification. Uh, there you can see the non-member can be added over there. Next slide. So uh, after the meeting has been done, so all the meeting notes which were created here can be converted into meeting minutes. So these meeting minutes can be exported in the form of PDFs as well, or they can be shared to all invitees through email notifications. And uh, there must be some uh, meeting topics which are still open. So for those meeting topics, uh, a follow-up meeting can be created. So the, all the uh, meeting topics or items which are open will automatically transfer to that follow-up meeting. Next slide. Now we will discuss the daily reports. So daily reports are you, you can use it to report your daily work from the fields. So ACC provides you with default templates which you can use to create forms which can be filled by the people on the fields. And uh, even you can uh, also customize as per your preferences. You can add project data into this uh, templates. You can add uh, new sessions, which are new questions uh, to this default template, which has been created by APCC. And uh, you can uh, then create forms from it. So you, you need to assign contributors and reviewers to these forms. So contributors can be a single contributor even, or, or a group of people can also fill this form parallelly or uh, maybe one of the other. So in this way, they can provide their responses and people uh, can fill this form even from the fields as well. And uh, there, are, there are actually a lot about reports. Uh, even the standardized forms which you must be using right now in your uh, organization, you can transfer that also to this platform using smart PDFs. So these all can be discussed uh, further in the coming sessions.
so uh, thank you riddhi so we will now open the platform for question and answer round so let me just see if there are any questions in the chat box so there is a question uh, sometimes the rfi raised and the additional work which is not in the scope and need approval from the client both technical and cost for these type of issues uh, you have any option in the application as it will take time so uh, sir for this rfis again as you we start with the process if it is that issue is initial you raise a concern it as issue and then if you think that would might need more set of information we go to rfis and then if rfis are there which might lead to a budget impact or a cost impact we would say we would link that to our cost uh, management app which is potential change orders so even if it takes time this is a process based activity within the tool where all your information maybe the to and fro communication that happens is happening within the same environment So, uh, Pallavi, one second. Yes. So, further on this question, uh, we would like to get more clarity also, so we can uh, connect with you post this webinar. Uh, what 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 workflow you're looking at? But with the on the platform, the workflows are pretty open, so you can uh, set it up as whomsoever all the stakeholders which are involved in the approval workflow, including your client, or subcontractors, anyone who is part of the workflow, to include. The steps, approvals, drawings, documents, all what is required, and can be connected onto this. Oh, thank you, sir. So there is another question. Is it handy with the smartphone so it is so it can be useful tool for the site engineers to coordinate with the consultant team and the client team? We need to make a handy application followed by training to the whole team before start working. So yes, sir. To answer to answer your question, yes, there is a application attached to the Autodesk Construction Cloud, from where uh, all these informations which we just saw, what all your submittals or maybe your daily reports, all your meeting trackings can be done with the help of that application. So it's a real time update connecting. Both your site and your offices on multiple stakeholders together from different geographic locations. So that is why I think you mentioned to minimize the cost during the design stage and during the construction stage. Yeah. So all these activities by default would lead to the value generation of your project. It gives the value to your project by again reducing the time, cost, and quality. They maintain the these three. And these applications are available out of the box for both iOS and Apple. Sorry, iOS and Android, and uh, they are they are they are not dependent on a device. So this it can be accessed on a tablet, on a mobile, or uh, on like we are accessing it through browser right now. So all, all these are possibilities with the application. <clears throat> and now not only for build. Uh, even if you have access to docs and collaborate which is more for design phase uh, over there also you can access the documents which are part of the acc platform so there is another question is the rfi feature included in the bim 360 collaboration uh, no sir it is a part of uh, autodesk build uh, platform so you can raise rfis only if you have access to your build and not collaboration though it is present both in your bim 360 and in your acc environment uh, uh, pallavi but in this case we can uh, for the design collaboration piece we can raise issues and then link it to rfis yes issues can be created from docs or collaboration or uh, build but all those issues once we need to create the rfis we will we should have the access to build correct so it's normally what we uh, as an implementation process for more for the design phase we have the issues and issue management which can be tracked on one single dashboard and for the construction phase for the especially for the contractors uh, who are raising rfis to the owner and then the owners can raise issues uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, design design uh, team or the design consultants. So here, then, as a process, it should be that the project managers should have access to both the design collaboration piece and a build platform, so that they are able to link 
both the technologies or both the processes together yeah after that it says can project msp file be linked to acc yes sir <clears throat> your msp files your p6 files your uh, excel files and your asta project files all these file formats they are supported by acc for updating the schedule in the platform we have some question in q and a also yeah uh hi you mentioned that we can upload our schedules can we let go the native softwares like this is no no so uh as mentioned these these are all uh, review based solutions your cloud platform is a review based solution uh, it is a common data environment from where you are uploading the information from your authoring tool so all the information be it your schedules or your documents or your drawings they are all uploaded and taken for further uh, working within that from acc you can't make any changes or create a new schedule in acc additionally uh, we believe that in a project uh, if one person is creating a project schedule there are at least 15 to 20 people who are reviewing that uh, schedule so there is actually no requirement of creating schedule on the platform so this is being a more of a common data environment technology the idea here is that uh, if the person who is creating the schedule he might be using xyz software which is already comfortable using to make a schedule uh, he should be able to share that information in more of a dynamic and uh, uh, and, uh, and and you can say uh, 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 intelligent uh, schedule items which can further be linked to other documents any issues any cost impact etc and this is something which we would be showing to you in subsequent workshop sessions also in which we would be covering that how if in fact your schedules on this platform can be linked to your cost items to give you s curves or to even uh, and analyze which particular line item of the cost has uh, what kind of uh, cost benefit analysis yeah thank you sir so there's one question from mr ramesh like what will be the cost to implement the acc in a project so uh, to answer it it's not easy to answer it through on, on the on the on, on the on the on, on this webinar there are two three different aspects to implementation one is the software cost itself so for that matter you can this cost is something which is available online on our site that you can easily easily go and check it out uh, and then there is implementation and training cost which is more associated towards uh how you want to do it uh what 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 is what is your game plan who are the stakeholders uh so basis that uh we can implement it for you so and for us we have seen from a past from almost one year of implementing it across about 25 30 odd customers is that the implementation time for this technology is very short in fact we have seen that post 10 hours of training uh post 10 hours of training the customer or you as a client are able to start using the platform across the projects and we are talking about large scale infrastructure projects which are worth 10 20000 crores so in that in within those kind of projects we were able to uh, we were able to help you start using this platform within 10 hours of training and uh, of course that was a live training uh, apart from a lot of implementation which is done by our team in creating a creating a folder structure getting user workflows etc but it is not just about the software it is also about reworking your construction processes and to bring best practices in place to help you on your projects yeah thank you sir so uh, any more questions for, yeah, we can wait for 5 minutes more and check if, if you of course you are, uh, everyone is more than welcome to uh, reach out to us uh, uh, and ask any questions you might have post this webinar also uh, but we'll wait for a couple of more minutes if you have any queries we can take them up uh one other thing uh because the rs session cloud a lot of information is there online you can even go and uh, start using a trial version of it it is 30 day trial version is available and you can start working out on the, how it will help you on your project will it is it is uh 
actually beneficial for you or not. So we are there available anytime. If you're doing, if you're using a even a trial license, if you have any queries, whether this is a possibility or not, whether it can help you or not, uh, you can go ahead and do it. Uh, so there's a question regarding uh, that you are part of high speed train project from Ahmedabad to Mumbai. Okay, go government. Of, so not government of India per se, but we are working with a lot of government organizations around the same platform. So like you're part of this uh, high mass transit project. This is already being used by organizations like Delhi Metro, Chennai Metro, then UP Metro. So uh, even your consultants, major consultants like uh, Sestra, ISA, ACOM, who are involved on, in the, on these projects, not only in India, globally, they are using these platforms to, uh, to start, uh, uh, to do collaboration, starting from collaboration, then project management also. For the link uh, for the ACC platform, uh, uh, we can share it with you, but otherwise you can simply go on the session cloud and you will get the all the information which you which you require. So, uh, Mr. Umesh, I'll connect with you separately uh, outside this webinar. Uh, I just to understand uh, what uh, what what what. Way, what would you you would like to do, and uh, then take it forward from there. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone for joining the session. We would now like to uh, close the session. Thank you everyone for joining us. We will uh, get back to you in the next session, uh, which is again coming next week. Thank you.